Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Oh, yes, we have got a little bit of everything. The steak, the pie, the gifts. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> what a Tuesday. Yeah, it's a terrific Tuesday, if you ask me. Uh-huh, and That's all of on. that as we head on into this Mother's Day week, I guess yep. you call it that, yep. the, the lead up to Mother's on. Day. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, because you moms deserve the best, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Good. Just say yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Dresky in for Fiona. And yet we also have two of the Texacanas mm -hmm. on SA Live today because their big premiere on Bravo is tonight. So I think they meet our Davida Lopez. There's a little bit of drama that's going to be going on <laughs> down here at Market Square. I'm so I don't, yeah, somewhere yeah, out there. That's all there. we're going to say. Yeah, but first, around. we are going to be starting with dinner. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. oh, my goodness gracious, one of the best restaurants ever, one of my favorites. Morton's the Steakhouse. And Chef James Smith is here to show us what's on the menu for mom's big day Chef. coming up sunday good afternoon sir how y'all doing what are we making uh, welcome i only take over romesco sauce okay. right. so this is the romesco sauce yes, that's sir. going on right now what what is that yeah never heard of it all right think of it like a thick marinara sauce or pesto mm -hmm. sauce with no nuts mm -hmm. uh roasted roasted bell peppers roasted onions blending into a fine paste you know gives it a real pop a real flavor to it okay so, so the, the roasted bell peppers <laughs> Makes it different than a, a tomato sauce. Exactly, right? exactly. Oh, okay. It gives it a little more, a little more flavor to it. Mm -hmm. And this is what is going to the cauliflower is going to go on. Yes, sir. So this is not the cauliflower that mom always wanted you to eat. No, nobody no, ever no. liked it. <laughs> back then. So, right, okay. so now that we have this all nice and hot, we're okay. going to move that into the bowl. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. And, and you've got a special menu going on for Mother's Day as well, right? Yes, we do. We are we are currently going to be um, running our our. Our steak and lobster, or mm -hmm. lobster, <laughs> the lobster. Yeah. Sorry, can't That's get okay. it out. Can't get it out. <laughs> All right, it's going to be an eight-ounce steak with um, with a whole lobster on top. Oh my goodness, a little bit of this in there. Yes, sir. Add way. a little of our Greek vinaigrette on top of that. Okay. All right, we're going to mix that all together. We have the hot, the hot, um, okay. the hot okay. romesco going on. And this Let's is just a little, a little blend to it. Just a little cauliflower. It's already been heated. Um, the key to this, though, you got to make sure you have small, small um, florets to it. Okay, and do you you roast them this way? <clears throat> and what's the best way to roast cauliflower? Because you want to get it roasted up and not too much, right? The so best way to do it, it would them. be on a, would be on a high heat. You know, get it on a nice grill. Maybe go outside and mm -hmm. get it get it on Ooh, the pit. Oh, that's for a you. good idea. Yeah. Do you want to like put any olive oil on it as you roast it, or just definitely roast it start it off with olive oil, okay. a little salt and pepper, and there you go. Okay. All right. So we've got it all roasted up like that. We all put right. it in the so pan. So now we're going to mount that right on top of that. And and simple as that? As simple as that. Okay. And what about these? Th are, does it, does that right. go with that? Yes, ma'am. I'm oh, sorry. I'm impatient because <laughs> it just looks so good. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> capers and kalamata olives. Okay. Yes. We have fried capers and kalamata olives. So we're going to put a little bit of that on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you can add a little bit of that kalamata olives to that. Yeah. And Here you go, Mike. Oh, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And that's the dish, right? And that's the dish, all ready to go. You brought simple, some other simple, items, simple too. Flavor. Let's talk about what you have here, because this is all so exciting. Exactly. Mike, that looks beautiful. Exactly. We have our spring going on, so everybody wants to be ready for spring, so we uh, made our portions a little bit smaller. So now we have a 10-ounce steak instead of our, our traditional 16-ounce okay. steak, which is our bone-in filet right here. Mm -hmm. Right here we have our... Um, Lobster with lobster mix with scallop caviar and um, yeah, Looks scallops amazing. and caviar. Okay. All right. This one is our New York flight. You get three different tastes in one in one go. We have our cab steak, which is Angus beef. We have our prime steak, and then we have our wagyu. What a served, great idea! I love that. Served with a little bit of blue cheese fondue, and lastly, we have a, a great spring salad, strawberry with a Greek yogurt dressing. Mm -hmm. Now, where is Morton's located? What, Mike? Is it good? <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it, that, it's got such a nice little tang to it, that romesco sauce, and with the kalamata olives on there and the capers, it's a great side dish. There you go. I'm happy, yeah. you, happy you enjoy yeah, it. it. It's more than just plain old cauliflower. Yes. Right? So still time to make reservations? Let us know where it's located definitely, or are viewers definitely. watching? Definitely. We'll be, open up. we'll be open from 12 to 9 o'clock. We're ready mm -hmm. to go. All right. Yeah, it's really good. I'm okay. have to try that. Morton's the Steakhouse, if you'd like more information, and oh my goodness, it is, like I said, one of my favorite restaurants, go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, well, Mom always enjoys going out. You know, a place mm -hmm. like this would be nice, but sometimes breakfast in bed, you know, that's that's nice too. When I was little, I remember I used to make my mom breakfast in bed on Mother's Day. I don't know if it was any good, but she ate it all. Well, those are so great memories, too. They are great memories, and so I took my son... 
Jack with me, okay. and I was going to teach him how to make one of the classic breakfast dishes, which there's a nice little easy twist to it. Yeah, okay, let's take a see. look. So what does mom want for Mother's Day? Well, somewhere down on that list is breakfast in bed. This is my oldest, Jack, the reason why mom is a mom and yes. celebrates Mother's Day. And you know, for 17 Mother's Days, you never made her breakfast in bed. I made her cereal once, does that count? Did you do it on Mother's Day? Uh, no. Okay, well, anyway, just cereal? Yeah, it was just cereal. It's good though, it's like cereal. Anyway, it's okay, okay. Yes, we both get. He's gonna learn how to make it. We're here at Sangria on the bird. Cereal, that's it? Did you at least pour the milk on it? Yeah, I did. Who better to teach this one how to make breakfast in bed for mom than Cesar Zapata from Sangria on the Berg? Yeah, he's never cooked breakfast in bed never? for mom. She's gonna no, love it. Never. Okay. Love away. What are we making here? We are doing a classic that people are scared of, Eggs Benedict. And mom loves it. Yeah, mom loves it. Okay, how do we get started? Okay, so what we're doing here is we're, uh, we're melting some butter. We're gonna use a technique, uh, kind of a trick, we use a blender. So get this butter nice and melt. We're gonna emulsify these eggs that we've already separated. So we're, we have the egg whites right here, which we'll use tomorrow for an okay. omelet, perfect. And then we have these egg yolks that we put right into the blender. And this is the easy way this to do. This is the easy way. Oh, you're gonna be mad that I taught you all this. Otherwise, you're whisking, you're whisking, whisking and, and the sauce breaks, and, and you're done. We don't have that. time for that. You know, we're playing Fortnite. We have all this other stuff to do. See, pinch of uh, salt. Yeah. About a teaspoon of uh, lemon juice. So we're gonna wait till this gets little. Let's go to get our English muffins and warm those up. Now we can do. You can do anything. The cool thing, the versatility of Benedict's. You can use a bagel. You can use a uh, English muffin. You biscuits. can use those are our biscuits. I like the idea with Anything the biscuits. you want. Um, so that's going to be your base to put everything and build everything up on. All right. You have to put some eggs. So get your water going. Uh, put some water and about a, a tablespoon of white vinegar. And what's the white vinegar do? That's, it just that's the secret. Exactly. So so you'll get once you put the egg in there, it's going to kind of go all crazy. What keeps it in, and you have this nice little circle like that. As soon as it goes in, it seizes up. Okay. This looks ready. We're going to turn this off. As we're doing this, 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 you don't want to cook your eggs. You want to crack an egg in there. This is important. You don't want to break it real soft. Crack on the end and just lay one in there. We're going to make three of them if we can. Stay whole? Yeah, stay whole. All right. You're one for one. One for one. So see how it's rolling? You just want the water to get it real close to the water. Boom. As it gets as it get in the water, you see the water get a little lower. Yeah. So the trick on this is three minutes. If okay. you top it at three minutes, take it out, perfect. You want it to be firm enough to hold up to transfer because you're going to see you have to transfer it over. This is the pepper bacon. We're going to do bacon today. It's a classic. I don't know if anybody good. doesn't love bacon. No. So you get that going. You see you have your eggs, a little pinch of salt, and mm -hmm. your lemon juice in there. The nice thing about a Vitamix, you can turn it up as you want to. But right here, as that's emulsifying, you're just drizzling this in. Just a little bit Just a little time, bit right? at a time. You'll see it thicken up. You'll see it become a sauce. You are taking notes, Jack, right? Yeah, no, I'm listening. Okay. Look at that. It's thickening up. Look at that. Look at that. And it's... And now it becomes... Some people are going to dog you for this trick. It's okay. You save time. Yeah. I take a little bit of cayenne. Uh -huh. Don't too much. Just a little bit of cayenne in there. You're done. Okay. Sauce is done. Put your bacon in a nice little layer like that. Boom. Egg on top. The perfect blender holiday Look at sauce. This. And it's also in here and it's nice because it just drizzles right on there. Perfect. Easy, you don't have uh, to get anything else. Just golden yellow. Everybody loves this. It's one of those things that every single time we do this, everybody loves it. Wait, I, it, it, I here, want it. Just, you have some over there. Get, now, this is, now I know what your brother feels like. Okay, here, <laughs> you don't need it all. Wow, that looks amazing. Still ahead on SA Live. Good job, Mike. After the meal comes dessert, Tutti Pie is here with a brand new pie just in time for Mother's Day, and they have a new partnership, too. Let's talk about that. Yeah, but can Jack do that on Mother's Day? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> and next, gift ideas for moms and grads, why these creams and lotions aren't your typical skincare products. Find out right after the break. Stay with us. Welcome back. Well, if you're still looking for a gift from Mother's Day or maybe the grad in your life, you might want to check out these unique products. Lika Torline is a licensed esthetician and owner of In the Weeds and here to show us what makes these skincare products so 
Good, so unique for your skin. Good afternoon. Thank you, thanks for having me. Tell us about what you brought today. So we brought different gift sets for the mom in your life, the grad. Um, like you were saying, I'm a licensed esthetician, so a lot of people make skincare products, and esthetician is a skincare specialist. So there's always like a method to my madness, a little formula, and things like that. So one of our first um, sets that we brought is our, our face set. And this one includes our doll face face scrub, which is the one I'm most known for because I want a grant for it. The grant paid for my entire website. Which and is this one? Yes. Wow. It is a scrub and a mask, and it's really good for a plethora of issues. Thank and this you. one here is our newest, uh, our latest skincare product. Actually, let me put this right on your hand. And that's actually, there we go. And I so, like what you were explaining about the levels, right? Of uh, yeah. zero to five. So every oil has a rating from zero to five, mm -hmm. and it goes um, from how likely an oil is to clog your pores. So coconut oil, for example, a lot of people use coconut oil. Coconut oil is a four. So, so that would be much more likely to clog your pores. To make you break out. So if you're acne prone, you don't want to be around coconut oil mm -hmm. or things That's like awesome. that. So there's the three base oils, and this are a zero, zero, 001. So this one has mango butter, shea butter, uh, vanilla bean infused safflower oil, and it's called mm. High Five because it has five essential oils in it. So it's lavender, frankincense, myrrh, rock rose, blood orange. So um, I tell everybody I'm an herb nerd. So And I, this I like is that. for your face or your hands, right? Yeah, so you use it on your face, um, but I always use leftovers just to put in my hands. And it's so funny, I've had friends that try it and they think it's for their hands, but it's really ideally made for the face. Okay. So this and, is our face bundle. And again, this is very, very good for somebody that, that would be prone to breaking out or if you had like maybe excessive, like excessive dry skin, yes. right? So I am actually a really great test bunny. I break out to everything, even heat rashes and things like that. So um, I'm a really good test bunny. If I break out, I won't. Well, so it's back to the drawing board. Speaking of sensitive skin, this one you can even put on the little ones. Let's talk yes. about this one here. So this one is our Purple Rain Hard Lotion. And so it's kind of funny because it looks hard in the tube, but actually melts to your body temperature. Oh. So this one, you can use it. I use it on my hands when I'm doing dishes or you know, things like that. So if you have, actually, mm -hmm. let's do. Oh, okay. Because you probably have the guy hands. So, he moisturizes. the man hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you don't. You're actually very no, moisturized. I was just saying, not Mike. Mike's, Mike's not your He's not out there typical. with well, the cutting wood. Or well, he, but, does, he does do that too, though. He just moisturizes. Yeah. Well, this one um, doubles as an insect repellent for infants. So, if you need um, something that'll protect your, your little one, this is the one. No chemicals or anything in there, and it's lavender, because it lavender is one of those so good, good plants even to have around and keep yes. the insects away. Right? So mosquitoes don't like lavender, but it's also made with chamomile-infused apricot kernel oil, and chamomile is a natural hydrocortisone, so if they get bit, this will help with the itching, too. Let's talk about these candles. So They're these beautiful. are good juju candles. They are made with our biodegradable soy wax, our wooden wicks, and then crystals on the inside, so you get to keep the crystals at, at the end. And some of these gift sets, which are on your website, right? You have a website right now. Yes. You're looking for a brick-and-mortar store, but not yes. yet. Okay. Yeah, so manufacturing and a brick-and-mortar. So that's our stress bundle. I actually have some headache sticks for you guys. Oh, okay. I know that you all have this stressful job. So, so the, here's for mom. This one right here, you light, you light the candle, and then you do the stress scrub and the headache thing, and you're all set to and go, you and you've got a, a discount. deal for our viewers. Yes. So we have all of these bundles on our gift sets on our website, which is shopintheweeds.com. But if you use the promo code SALIVE, all caps, all one word, you get 15% off. So, And these are already marked down as gift sets. Like this one is actually $6 off if you get it as a set. And then you get an extra 15% off if you watch Perfect. SA Live. Great well, stuff. Well, thank you so all much. Right. For more information, just go to SALive.com and click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you Lisa. for having me. All right, still ahead on SA Live, a beautiful bond blooming out of tragedy. The hidden story of a local flower shop and how this mother-daughter relationship is changing lives. And right after the break, full mom into thinking you spent hours baking in the kitchen, Tootie Pie is whipping up something special for your number one lady. It's next. Stay with us. Hope you're hungry. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> It is a treat for mom, but everyone is going to want to dig into this treat. The new summer flavors are starting to fill the kitchen over at Tutti Pie, and they are now offering a few things for the very first time. Yes, Scott Calvert is here to tell us what's new for Mother's Day because you have some new pies. And what are yeah. you working on there? Because that looks amazing. Yeah, working on cream. strawberries and cream pie. So oh, if y'all want to help me with that, yes. that'd be awesome. Mm. Please. Stir that around, and if you'll put part of that down in the bottom. Just part? And okay. Mike, if you'll put that sugar into that and stir it in, and then you'll top it. All right. So we're just putting part of this in? 
You're going to fill it up about halfway. You okay. can go ahead and put most of all of that okay. in there and spread it across the bottom. And if you want to get really fancy, these there's another little the, spatula These are some of the new flavors. For it is. It's strawberries and cream. Okay. So we've got a, uh, a layer of the, the cream cheese down the bottom. We've got mm -hmm. the strawberries that we'll put on top. Put a streusel on top of that. So after that's smoothed out... You can put the strawberries on top, and then we'll have streusel we put on top. Smooth this out for you. Let's, yeah. let's talk about Tutti Pie, because you have sure. a nice partnership happening now. Absolutely. And that's why we get all these lovely things, and you brought a Tres Leches cake as well. That's right. You? There's so many people that know Tutti Pie that have been around the San Antonio area for 30 years. And uh, oh. we've been in, uh, we have the cake plate also in Austin, and we've okay. combined forces and put the two together. So now we have not just pies, we've got cakes, we have all kinds of different desserts. Um, so some of the ones that we have, we have uh, obviously the pie that we're talking about, and that's exactly the way it would go into the oven. It would come out looking like this when it's all finished. Thank you. Y'all are awesome. So this is the finished product if you need, here. If, if you have any extra time next week, we could <laughs> do some stuff over there. <laughs> I'll be your official taster. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So this goes well, in, and this is what we get. That's right. So we'll try this out. Um, one of the other cakes that we have over here, we've got a... Scoop while you talk sure, about that. Sure, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, and I showed Mike how to scoop the pie before and scoop right <laughs> into it. Which is a great idea. Yeah. I never thought about that because a lot of times with the fruit pies, you cut yeah. it and then it's like falling out. And exactly. You kind of make it look all pretty. It's like, Simplifies oh. it and just kind of, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with like a cobbler style. Put a little ice cream on top of that. that. People love there it. There you go, sir. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. So. And this okay. one here? So this one is a uh, apple cake with a uh, cinnamon cheesecake on top. So basically we take a fresh apple cake. We bake that, we put a little whiskey soak on it, and then we put a cinnamon Ooh. cheesecake on top of that. We have a lemon icebox pie in the front. We have a traditional tres leches cake. Don't mind if I Okay, do. you have been just dying. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You've been waiting you to try that knee when it's coming <laughs> yes. to eating that tres leches cake. <laughs> and of course, all of these do ship, right? Yes, absolutely. We ship all of them. I was in. We've got, uh, we'll still have the location in Bernie. Huh? Mm -hmm. We've built a new location in Dripping Springs on the west side of Austin. So we'll be able to, people could pick up from Dripping Springs or Bernie. We can ship anywhere. Okay. So very easy to find us online. Very easy to, I'm in easy love. to order on. You like it? Good. Oh good, my, good. Oh, my goodness. I love it. And then the blueberry down there has the, uh, the lemon vodka and blueberry in there. A lot of times the blueberry pie gets a little sweet. Mm -hmm. So the lemon kind of uh, brightens it up a little bit. And we figured what even better than brightening it up, but add a little vodka to it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what's, the best kind of, what's the best kind of ice cream to put on these various pies? I'm traditional. Would you go with I go vanilla. vanilla. I do. Mm -hmm. I like the traditional home style vanilla. And then what's the best selling pie this time of year? Or best sell well, we you know, we brought this out for Mother's Day and this has been going over crazy. People have been ordering it all the time. This one right they here? love it. This the blueberry is brand new and I love that just because well I'd probably drink a little vodka along with it, too. <laughs> well, you know, and, wow. and what's, what's nice about That's it is amazing. I've been sampling, of course, just for research. Um, the blueberries, <laughs> sometimes blueberry pie, it gets uh, they turn into almost like mush, but these still right. have a nice little kind of a, a texture hole. to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad okay. you like it. So people can head to your website for yes. more information and to find out where all the pies are. Thank Absolutely. you so much for this mm. Beautiful. Thanks display. for having me out. Oh yeah. my goodness. Appreciate Go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. And again, you can ship them all over the place. All right. From sweets for mom, excuse me, to a local <laughs> shop <laughs> that was selected as a KSAT SA pick winner, the Floral Basket. Yes, it's only two years old, and the owners have a very special bond. It's a story we just had to tell you. Take a look. The Floral Basket is not the average flower shop. Walk in, and you'll see a mother-daughter team who owns it. it really she is fun. the creative designer. I'm on <laughs> she the does business. the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> Dig deeper and you find out this is not a biological bond, but something that bloomed from a first love. Gina Grace dated Helen Carasalis' son, Yanni. They met in high school and were inseparable. He, uh, he was killed by a drunk driver and um, I, was, I was lost myself at the time. I was um, an alcoholic. <laughs> I um, didn't know I was lost and when you get that news, you know you never expect it to be you. Because of this incident, Gina has been sober for the past six years, leaving the nightlife for flowers, growing a business with the woman she calls mom, her former love's mother. It's just a hard thing to say on her coming along and saying, I did have a flower shop. He did want me to open up again. Mom, let's do this. We can do this. Even though she's not blood, you know, you can always find that compassion that you need. You know, some people just need a simple hug and, yeah. and that, that motherly mm -hmm. feel that some people don't aren't blessed to have. She's filled that place that, uh, 
um, when Yanni's not here, I just feel it, and she feels me, and I feel her. She knows when I'm sad. <laughs> Together, these women have been able to take a negative seed in life and grow stronger, living out their passion. No one asked us what our passion unit was. You know, people like to work hard and, and you know, creative. And we really, our passion is making people happy. Yeah, because I wouldn't have all this if it wasn't for her. She's a blessing. Even though we're not blood, it, it's, it's loyalty, it's love, it's, it's, it's a lot more than, than that. So they wanted to be here today, but they got so busy with their Mother's Day orders. So um, yeah, it's a story. You walk in and you just assume they're mother daughter, and then you hear and you dig deeper, and it's just this amazing thing. It's one that kind of gives you chills. Just I know, to it. I know. And so I'm happy blind. they shared it Sometimes with us. Sometimes you just need a hug. Oh yeah, mm. for sure. Great story, Jen. Thank you. All right. Well, coming up on SA Live. Before their big nationwide premiere tonight, two of the ladies from Texacana's come to Market Square where the drama is already getting started. You're going to want to see this with our Davida Loca. And next, it's a new take on a meal everyone has enjoyed. Check out what makes the burgers at Burger Rim unique. It's coming up right, <clears throat> excuse me, right after the break. So stay with us. You're hungry. We are here at Burger Room Restaurant off Loop 410 and Blanco. And wow, one word, choices. If you have any kind of diet, you have something for everybody. Really, Kelsey right. here to tell us more. First of all, thank you for all the food. Thank you for feeding yes. me today. Of course. Let's talk about what makes this place so unique. Right, so what makes this place so unique is honestly just like the quality of the food and how you can customize everything to your liking. There's a little bit of something for everyone. So we have our mini gourmet burgers that you can customize from 11 different patties. There's falafel and veggie for vegan and veggie options of course. And then we also have salmon, lamb, chickens. I mean, you just name it, we have all of that. Turkey burger, mm -hmm. anything you want. We okay. have wagyu. Another good thing that we do have wonderful wings. We have our sweet potato fries, double battered onion rings here. They're amazing. Mm. And then of course our circle cut fries. Well you have to tell me about these gourmet mini burgers because they look amazing and they all have their own little theme, right? Right. So with our gourmet mini burgers, unlike sliders that have just a 0.8 ounce center in the middle, mm -hmm. we actually have a three ounce patty. I mean there's just such a large variety of things to choose from to customize it to everyone's liking. So this one in front of me, this is the cowboy. And which one is this one? So this is the caliente. Ooh, it does have some jalapeno, fries. some spices oh, on there. See that? And the fries, I love how they're the round fries. Mm, mm, mm. And then over here, we just have the normal classic. So the classic. OK, got right. everything here. And these, this got a little kick in it, too, doesn't it? Yeah, some nacho cheese, bacon, and jalapeno. It smells amazing. Now we're talking Texas here. Let's talk about this guy right here, because this is the big Texas burger, right? right? So that is a one third pound of beef. That's a double patty right there, but we do have a special going on for $5 right now. $5, mm -hmm. you can come in and get that. So for those who may not know, there is a bar here. So to right. wash down all that food, we've got mm, michelada, my favorite, mimosas. What else do we have here? So we have our Modelo. We do serve it in an ice cold mug. We also have our house wine. We also have some white wine options as well. Okay. Yeah. So it's not just your average burger place. I mean, right. you can get wine and you can get a gourmet burger. And well, I guess I should try these. Yeah, definitely right? try it. So michelada. And of course, if you want your dessert, you have four delicious looking shakes here. Let's yes. talk about what we have here. So right here we have our strawberry milkshake. It does have some fruity pebbles on the top. Mm. We have our wonderful Oreo cookie milkshake. It's delicious. I heard it's a Kim Kardashian favorite. favorite. Yes. Have to try that. Okay. And then we have our chocolate and vanilla. Well, let me give this one a try. Do you have a favorite? I don't have a favorite. I like them all equal. It depends on the mood I'm in. Mm. I can see why Kim likes that. <laughs> Very good. Well, as you can see, there's definitely something for everybody. And if you can't make it out here, you can also order party boxes. Right, right? yes, exactly, with 16 different options. Kelsey, thank you so much, because I'm course, thank very you. hungry. So I'm going to get to eating and drinking. But for more information, where can people go? Yeah, definitely check us out at Facebook and Instagram at Burger Room Park North. And don't forget, it's off Loop 410, just inside the Loop at Blanco. The drama, the excitement, and the fun of Bravo Reality's 
TV has come to the Alamo City. A new show called Texacot is its debuting tonight. It's about a sisterhood of Mexican-American women revealing their friendships, family, culture, and it all happens right here in San Antonio. Yes, but before the premiere, two of the Texacanas, Anayansi and Penny, are here in Market Square to tell us more Yay. about the show. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. For Thank having you. Us. Thanks for having us. So how did this all get started? <laughs> It's been a long road. Yes. It's been a really very, long road. Very, very long road. But, but we're excited to be here. Yeah, finally. It's all out. It's all out. <laughs> and it's, it's exciting because like it's San Antonio. Getting this baby where you, it's going to come. It's going to come. Cultivated. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. And then it's like, yeah. I've always scary. wondered watching these shows, what's it like? Because you're living your day-to-day lives mm-hmm. and there's how many cameras in your house? I know, yeah. A lot. A lot. Crazy. You'd be surprised how used, how used to the cameras you get. Really? Like yes. that. Really? Yes. Okay. Any, any funny stories to share behind the scenes? Oh, my children. I was, I was, afraid, I was afraid that my children were going to like just, you know, stare at the camera. Uh-huh. But, oh, no. They, they, they thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> then you start just, getting too comfortable. Yeah. Where it's like, yeah. okay, now I have to watch myself because I'm starting to really get very comfortable in the camera. Okay. Well, hey, that's yeah. good. But have you ever experienced anything like this with cameras like that? I mean, no. Is this something no, totally never. new to you? Only selfie videos. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ever just... Anayansi is good at that, not me. <laughs> yes. All of a sudden when you're doing something and go, oh, wait, I no, I didn't mean to cut. That ain't going in the uh, show or I'm not? I don't think you have an option. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think you have an option, but yeah, of course. I mean, you're like, oh man, I said that. Yeah. Now that you watch, you're like, ooh, I should have totally done that different. And but is it all? Because sometimes people think, no, that's not real. That must be, you know, prompted. Do they, you know, tell you? But this is all just. It's that's always the question. Go, like, is it right? real? No, <laughs> no, 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 no. They're totally unscripted. Uh, we. I mean, it was just us. It was. Uh-huh. It was. It's the way we are. You know. You're so. filming so much and. You know, you just get so, you have to be yourself because mm-hmm. you're just living your life on camera. But no, we, you'll see that we are kind of like, oof. <laughs> it's, it's who we are. I now. should, yes. And how much of San Antonio do we actually get to see? A lot. A lot. I think, a I lot. think we, we did a shoot, you know, in, in various places. It wasn't like one particular part of San uh-huh. Antonio because, you know, I mean, we're like the big little city. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, there's so many different parts. We've seen a little bit of snippets. You have a stripper yeah. pole in your house? Um, <laughs> she yes. Is. Yes, use I it do. pretty often? Yeah. No, <laughs> my, kids, my kids use it more than I do. <laughs> There's going to be a watch party for Texacana's premieres tonight at a hotel discotheque at 9 p.m. And yeah. some of the Texacanas are going to maybe even be there for more information. Yeah. Go to our website, salive.com. So I don't know if you know this, but this is not the first reality show like this that oh, has really? been done here in San Antonio. San Antonio. Yeah, right. we know some <laughs> real, break the news to you. real housewives uh, uh, right. of San Antonio. I don't know if it made the cut. I mean, they tried. Really? Right. Yeah. But you'll did. have to take a look and, and let us know what y'all think. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm we'll interested. See. We'll see. <laughs> My name is Davida Logan, and I'm royalty, royalty, royalty. I'm Eva Gonzalez, and I run this town. I'm Christelle Hennessy, and I get along with everyone like a pair of blue jeans. I am Jojo Van Higgins, and I am the life of the party. Well, what'd you think? I yeah. love it. I, I don't. Love I don't it. know why they didn't make the cut. I know. You don't. No. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Well, if that wasn't enough, stay tuned because we'll be back with a brand new episode of the Unreal Housewives. Ooh, Ooh. great! I look forward to I'm that. Very excited. You like it? Wow, <laughs> you do. Okay. <laughs> Stick around. <laughs> Previously on the Unworld Housewives of the Alamo City. That necklace is hideous. Yes, hideous. <laughs> Enough with the act, Crystal. Crystal, girl, the only thing sparkling here is my collar. Don't be hating. Royalty, royalty, royal collar. And what is this? Dog collar, oh, girl. Oh, girl. Oh, hey, you got collar, girl. Out of here. You better, girl. Mm. Bye. Mm. Come on. Jojo and I got into that fight, I needed some shopping therapy. So I headed on over to Market Square. Royalty, royalty, girl, who are you? 
Macarita belongs to Davida. Who are you? Girl, they don't know Davida because they're not San Antonio, baby. Royalty, royalty, royalty. Get at me. I don't know who this Davida person is, but she's not going to be our friend. Girl, my father owns six 7-Elevens, okay? Royalty. Wow. I saw them sitting there with the little drinks, sipping on the drinks and stuff, sitting there like they own the table and everything. Well, guess what? You don't own the table. You don't own the table. I'm Mona Yancey from Texaconis, and I'm Penny from Texaconis. What is Texaconis, girl? That's our reality show. Texaconis, more like Texacanas, okay? Royalty, royalty, royalty. How'd you get a show? We, we're just fabulous like that. What is it home, but what is it on though? Is it like on one of those local networks or whatever? <laughs> we're with Bravo TV. I don't know why they're coming on here saying that they're gonna be on Bravo and whatnot. I know Andy Cohen. What up, Andy? What up, Andy? I could even believe that she didn't know that our show was gonna air on Bravo tonight. So bad, so sad. <laughs> How did you get on Bravo and Davida Loca is still on local television? What is going on here? What well, could be your outfit. Girl, don't, don't be talking. Girl, they're over here talking about fashion and whatnot. They don't know Gucci when they see it. This was Gucci, baby. This is vintage Gucci. This is before it was called Gucci. This is called Gucci. Mm -hmm. My therapist said, just use your shake weight. Oh my God. God. <laughs> this weight. is why you're only local. Oh. <laughs> Those girls would get me furious making me use my shake weight. You lucky this fence is right here. I'm just telling you because Davida Loca don't play games, all right? Oh my gosh. She needs her stylist. <laughs> <laughs> we have a full Unreal Housewives episode right now on our Facebook page. I uh, love the way they were looking at Davida Loca. That, those are some looks. Find out K S A Live, SA Live K S A, and check it out. More on SA Live to come. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Many people in the San Antonio area have been making the switch to solar, and they're saving a bundle on their energy bills with South Texas Solar Systems, and they have some exciting things happening. Joining me now, Dan Moran, Vice President of Cells for South Texas Solar. Welcome. And thank you. It is thank you. Your birthday. Birthday yeah. boy today. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you very much. And you're celebrating with uh, our viewers today, and we'll get to that a little later. Yeah. But first, what's happening with South Texas Solar well, Systems? Well, what's happening, um, South Texas Solar Systems, we become Tesla uh, Powerwall certified. We're also the only company in Texas that's doing Pan, uh, Panasonic solar premium installs. So that's a big, big achievement for us. So we're really excited about that. Also, uh, we're also in big support of the San Antonio Climate Ready Plan as well. So Okay, so mm -hmm. we're talking bills as well because everybody gets them and you guys can really help people save yeah, big on that. And why is this a big year for homeowners well, to take advantage? Right now, this is the last year for the 30% tax credit. It's going to be reduced. It's not going away, but it will be reduced. So just to, just to inform you guys, we want to make sure you take advantage of that 30%, because that's a lot of money that you can't save when, during tax season, of course. And let's talk about the benefits of going solar for those who have no clue how this can affect their life. Well, the benefit is just finding that solution to eliminate that electric bill, you know, and also take away the carbon footprint. But really, really to, to take care of the biggest household expense, which is your electric bill. If we can help, you know, eliminate that for you, that just makes your families a lot stronger, a lot better. And it just just overall great thing. Okay, mm -hmm. and so today is your birthday, mm -hmm. and for that reason, you have a deal for our viewers. Let's talk about that. Yes, uh, we got a 15% uh, discount, um, not only for my birthday, and I really do appreciate that. If you call <laughs> in and you mention my birthday, but it is uh, uh, Teacher's uh, Appreciation Week, and then, of course, there's uh, you know Mother's Day coming up yeah, on Sunday. so many so things. Make that call. Wish everybody uh, uh, you know, appreciation for teachers, also for the mothers, but if you want to wish me happy birthday, that'd be great. Okay, way to tie that in, too. So yeah. it's on your screen there, South Texas mm -hmm. Solar System, a 15% discount today through Sunday. And it's so it's one week only. We're counting down already. And call mm -hmm. today to find out if you can go solar and save money. Now, the number, 210-405-8628. And also, you can find them online at txsolarsystems.com. Dot com. Oh my gosh, Happy we have a surprise you. for your birthday. How beautiful. You can cut the cake. So. <laughs> oh. Everybody that knows me lo knows I love cake. So. And what a way right. to celebrate right. with the deal for viewers today. It's and that, uh, we're going to dig in. 15% discount. So please call in, viewers. And he said he's 20 years old now, too. Yeah. So, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess yeah. we're all going to have cake. Thank you so much, I Dan. Try. And don't forget to find South Texas Solar online Thank and you. give Thank them you. a call. We're going to dig in. All, All right. right. Happy birthday, sir. Thank you very much. Tomorrow on SA Live.
It is a wild Wednesday. Fiona is visiting the bongos. No, not the drums. The African forest antelope at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. And Jen has something on the fire for you. Coming up tomorrow on SA Live, you're at the San Antonio Fire Training Academy where there's a push to raise awareness on the opportunities for women. I'm going to get put to the test. Think I can put that fire out? Find out. Okay, so what's with you playing with the burning a car oh, or something? Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I showed my son that video, by the way, and he's like, wait, did you? who started that fire, Mom? Why were you so close to a fire? But no, we wanted to get a taste of what it takes to be uh, go through the cadet program. And I mean, I got a small taste, but it's intense. And those women work ha so hard. They all work so hard. But there's a special campaign to invite females to not forget about mm -hmm. it. You know, people are graduating right now, so... That's the career option as well. And you didn't even have the tank on, but just the, the turnout gear, the pants and the jacket, the right. helmet, that weighs a lot, right? Oh, yeah, that weighs a lot. And then I had the dumb idea to say, John, maybe I should go up the stairs. So they <laughs> sent me up 11 flights of stairs with all the gear and a hose. The whole thing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I made I, it? I, I made it, but I had to walk and, yeah. That, that, that's fantastic. <laughs> You'll see you tomorrow. That's coming up tomorrow. Fiona's got a, a great Wild Wednesday segment, yes. and she owes she, back. And Those she are comes back on Monday, by the way, everybody. Yes, so. she's excited My to come back. Week. So yes. we have a whole lot more going on tomorrow. We will see you at 1 o'clock. Yes. Enjoy your day.